Bad's forecast. A freeze is coming. The Iceman cometh. Allow me to break the ice. My name is Freeze. Learn it well. For it's the chilling sound of your doom. And welcome back, everybody. My name is Ray's Chaos. You've made it back to my channel. And it's a little hard to get too excited about this video. Why? Because, uh... Hell freezes over. <sighs> yeah. If Ray's had the alternative, he would have gotten a different version. But being as how he's creating his own little DC universe uh, through Funko Pops, um, I do like to get individual characters uh, that I don't have otherwise. And uh, occasionally Funko puts one out that, um, yeah, it's the character. I need the character for my collection, but uh, yeah, I don't really want it that much. Um, I love Mr. Freeze, but I can't say I'm a big fan of the Batman and Robin Mr. Freeze that Arnold Schwarzenegger did. Um, yeah, it's just painful. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, 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 I'll put you away. Um, for once, he's not too upset about going. And I've come to make your life a living hell. So to talk about what made this movie uh, miserable, um, a lot of it had to do, I mean, I have to say for sure that um, this, like, for as many people want to blame, you know, this person or that person, I have to put the sole bl blame on the director on this one. Um, he wanted to do a campy version of uh, the Tim Burton Batman, which really doesn't lend itself into uh, uh, becoming camp. Um, I mean, the, the humor's there anyway. It's a guy dressed up as a bat. What do you? How's that not hysterical? Um, but uh, yeah, trying to infuse uh, the Batman TV show from the '60s into the Tim Burton Batman, it's just not going to work. I mean. You're going to have to be smarter about it. I'm not saying it's impossible, but mm, it's impossible for the people that tried it. Um, I know Clooney likes to take the blame and everything, but I can't blame Clooney for it, really. I mean, he he, he did fine as Batman. Um, the worst parts about it are the things that they made him say uh, or the things that they made him do. But uh, he took it seriously the entire time, which is what Batman should do. So, um, that is, that is one of those things that's absolutely, here's your, this is absolutely your job to try and make this as, uh, viable as possible. And that's exactly what Clooney did. Um, uh, but, uh, a lot of people like to put the blame on, uh, Arnold Schwar Schwarzenegger for his portrayal of, uh, Mr. Freeze. You lie! Um... My biggest complaint about the Schwarzenegger is uh, Mr. Freeze is actually just his physical size. Um, I mean, they should have made the made the costume not the, the the costume is what should have taken up the space, not the man himself. Um, I mean, technically, as clunky as that suit was, uh, thanks. It wouldn't have looked nearly as big if you didn't have uh, the big man inside making it big. It is the size of your gun that counts. Gun. Which is really sad. But uh, we're going to go ahead and take this out and have a closer look at it. Probably complain more about uh, why it looks the way it does. <laughs> I will pull Batman's heart from his body and feel it freeze in my hands. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> Revenge! Here it is. Oh my lord, here it is. Um, yeah, and basically it just kind of shows. It's just like, this is a bulky figure, but uh, it was a bulky actor in it. Um, 
uh, yeah, it was really kind of hard to take him too seriously. A lot of people didn't like um, the accent going on there. My passion, thoughts for my bride alone. That was totally, for me, that didn't take away anything. I mean, Schwarzenegger spoke like Schwarzenegger does. Um, and some of that just did not fly as far as I'm concerned. Um, as far as the the cliche uh, cold jokes all the way through. Yeah, to perfection. Threw it, almost everything out of his mouth. You are not sending me to the cold. Was just basically a cold pun. Um... But uh, as far as Mr. Freeze having an accent, that's absolutely fine. Um, uh, one of the cool things they did do is, even though it was new, the whole aspect of... Uh, uh, see, originally, Mr. Freeze was dumped into... Uh, was in a lab accident, uh, which Batman was the cause of, that had put him into the chemicals that, that forced him into this... Uh, his body into this condition where he could not live in normal temperatures. He could only live in, in sub-zero temperatures. Um, and it was an accident that Batman, that Batman had uh, basically interrupted an experiment and he got doused and, you know, it was forever uh, kept him uh, trapped in his costume. It's a cold town. Uh, it was later on, it was Batman the Animated Series that introduced... Um, uh, Mr. Freeze's wife and uh, her rare condition, him cryogenically freezing her and trying to find a thing. Um, it was actually surprising that they used that in Batman and Robin because it was such a new idea. But, uh, I mean, it added an extra depth to Mr. Freeze um, where the, just going ahead with the movie they kind of glossed over it because you've got this guy who is definitely trying to find a cure for his wife and he's definitely trying to, uh, you know, find some kind of cure for himself maybe, but mostly his wife. But, uh, in the movie, he's just, uh, he's, he just basically enjoys crime. He is a bad guy and he's proud of it. And, yeah, it's it just it turns the character a level of ridiculousness. I'm Mr. Icicle. I'm Mr. Ten Below. Ding, ding. Call me Snow Miser. Whatever I touch turns to even before you take into account the frozen cigar. That um, what is the purpose of that? That that makes absolutely no sense, and that may have actually been a Schwarzenegger thing because he is an advocate for cigars. Um, but yeah, as far as that, the costume, the costume design was pretty ridiculous. I mean, here's a guy who can't uh, live in normal temperatures, and the suit is supposed to keep him in a frozen state. But yet, yeah, they were accurate with the mask here. The window up front. It's completely clear. I know they did because they couldn't obscure uh, Schwarzenegger's face. You could have done something better than that. It doesn't make sense that normal temperatures could... <sighs> it doesn't even have to penetrate his suit. His suit is open. That doesn't make any sense. But, uh, I mean, they've got... The, as far as the pop goes, they got it pretty accurate. This is exactly how he looks. I'm afraid that my condition has left me cold to your pleas of mercy. I'm suffering. I don't know how much more of this I can take as far as looking at this thing. And, um, and I have, I did put in these clips primarily to make sure that you suffer along with me. A laundry service that delivers. Wow. Yeah. Um, uh, I don't really have a whole heck of a lot to say about this guy. Um, but so I'm just gonna kind of go ahead and um, get out of here. It's my exit cue. Reach for warmer weather now that, that it has arrived. And uh, I uh, thank you for joining me on this case. Um, I try and do the best, but like sometimes put showing off my collection. Yeah, I've got to show off the bad stuff too. Thanks for playing. <laughs> if I can get another Mr. Freeze. Uh, that isn't from Batman Robin, I absolutely will, and probably do what I can with this one. But uh, <laughs> as for now, though, I'm going to go ahead and let you go. Uh, <laughs> never forget, <laughs> life is full of odd moments. You never know when you're going to be defined.